Assalamu alaikum. If you're new to the channel, my name is Dr. Asif. I speak about four things mindset, muscle, money, marriage. I run a school channel which is sponsored by OG. See in the background, they're a gummy company, and I run multiple businesses where I aim to get Muslim men fitter, sharper, stronger, smarter. The topic of today's discussion, I'm hoping it's a short one, but um, I do have a tendency to rumble. The topic is chasing value, not virality. I've had a couple of friends reach out to me saying, how do I build a social media following? And I showed them two things. I showed them the date I joined Twitter and the date I joined YouTube. Twitter was July 2016. I think Instagram was the same time, and but I don't think you can see Instagram age. So I showed them Twitter because it's visible on the biography, and I showed them YouTube, which was even even earlier, October 2011. Now, admittedly, I've only been posting regularly on YouTube for about two years. It's taken about two years of almost daily posting to get to close to 20,000 followers. It's taken eight years of posting on Twitter to get to almost 10,000 and it's taken about similar eight, 000, uh, eight years on Instagram to get to almost 150,000. Same applied to uh, LinkedIn, it's taken about 12 years to get to over 30,000 followers on LinkedIn. So the point here is things take a long time to mature. Yes, you can go viral overnight. You can do a stupid TikTok dance. You can do a prank. You can play with your animal or kitten or whatever the case may be these days. You can do a silly meme. You can jump on the bandwagon of a trending song and do a video based on that. But what real value are you giving to the world? In the world of YouTube, in the world of social media, particularly TikTok, which in fact started off as a vine, so it started off as Musical.ly, similar to Vine, was a very short form, silly dance routine content. In the world of clickbait and short videos, this is why I don't like to have thumbnails. I want people to discover me organically. I understand psychology, but I don't want to have thumbnails. I want that to separate me, inshallah. I'll do all my own content. I've got editing team, alhamdulillah, that, that do my shorts and my podcast, but the long form I do, it's all unedited unscripted. It's me just drinking tea and speaking openly about things which I believe impact men, particularly Muslim men, having been on the journey myself of coaching so many men. In fact, I've just got off a call this afternoon with a brother looking to get married, um, regular calls with clients, both one-to-one -one as well as a group in the school channel. Anyway, going back to the point, these things take a long time to mature and it's, it's easier to go viral and just pick up something, prank your grandmother or prank the neighbour or all this kind of stupid thing these guys were, do, were doing in London, walking, walking into people's houses, is it Mizzy and all these guys, random youngsters, speed, KSI, do streaming, make a lot of noise, do pranks, question is value, what value are you giving to the world? There's three things you can do with social media. One is to educate, second is to inspire, and third, which is the lowest level, is to entertain. Our aim as Muslims should be, and that's the name of the channel, the model Muslim. Our aim as model Muslims, why, why is it model? Because Kuntum khayr ummatin ukhrijat nas. you are the best nation brought forth for mankind. Allah says. So our aim should be to educate and inspire. Inspire change. Compel people to act. Warn people. Allah says, Nazir, warn. You, you were sent as warner, Allah says to all the prophets. And Allah says to, um, in the Quran, we didn't send but a warner to every nation. That includes the outer forests of Peru and the Andes and Papua New Guinea and all these places across the world, warners were sent. In fact, 
124,000 prophets were sent, and each one was a Nazir, a warner. And you can use that same analogy to warn people. It's actually, there's actually a guy on YouTube called Abdul Wahab, may Allah bless him, doing a great job in California. I am the warner, his name is, to warn people. So inspiring is the same as warning, you kind of enlighten a flame in them to act. That's one thing. Second is to educate, educate people about deen. Now I'm not a, a scholar, I'm, I'm a student of knowledge, I study Islam, I have studied Islam, but and I continue to do so. I have a teacher, I have a mentor, but I'm nowhere qualified to give any strong, profound Islamic lessons. I'm a medical doctor, but the stuff I try to teach or try to educate people on is more around living healthily and optimum as Muslims. So that's the education part. As for the entertainment, that's not what I do. And this is why we shouldn't seek entertainment, because this is from shaitan. To entertain us, to pacify us, to really dumb us down, so we don't think for ourselves. <coughs> we should be, like Allah says, Kuntum ummatin ukhrijat nas. You are the best nation brought forth for mankind. This doesn't include ent entertainment. The entertainment during the time of the Prophet ﷺ was the poetry of the Quraysh, was all these things to distract people from the remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Now it doesn't mean we shouldn't have fun, of course we should have fun. But entertainment in and of itself, if that's the only thing you're delivering, is a very, very shallow modus operandi. You should be giving value in a uh, teachable, actionable, tangible way. And that should be your metric of success. Not virality, but value. There's three, there's three, three things here. People, I've got it wrong way around, people want to be famous. That's the end goal, fame. Fame for the sake of being fa famous. You ask people, what's that person famous for? I don't know, they came on this program, they're famous for being famous. Fame, if it comes, it comes. That's a byproduct. What you should be seeking is value and success. Become a person who's competent and capable. And become very good. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala talks about Dawood in the Quran. We taught him how to um, weld iron and metal in a very, you know, uh, Allah says, we taught him how to do chains, locks of chain, in, in a very, you know, in a very good way. He, he became very good at that. Ihsan. So become good at what you do, whether you're a doctor, you're a writer, you're a blogger, you're a content creator, you're a teacher, you're a lawyer, you're an accountant, whatever you do, provided it's halal, become very good at it. Because we should be aiming for Ihsan. The Muhsin is the highest form. You got the Muhsin, then you got the Mu'min. Then you got the muttaqi, the one who's got taqwa, then you got the Muslim. I believe that's right. If I may have, I may, I may have added one, if that's um, not correct, then ex accept my apologies. But the mo anyhow, Mohsen is the highest, someone who's got Ihsan. We should aspire towards this, being, having Ihsan. That's that. So you can only do that if you're competent and capable. And then you might achieve some success, let's say. Because you could be very good at what you do and may not achieve success in terms of, you know, clients or returning customers or monthly revenue or capital gains. You know, you, you, you may be good at what you do, but your bank balance may not be showing that or your, or your worth may not be appreciated. So firstly, become a person of value and capability. A good book is called Mastery by Robert Greene and people say, the 10,000 hour rule, 10,000 hours, spending that amount of time on a single craft. So become good, become capable, become competent. Number two, then you may achieve some success, worldly success, but ultimately this comes from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We have no say in the success. Allah elevates some above, uh, above others. He gives izzah to whoever he pleases and he debases and dishonors whoever he pleases. This is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's order. We don't believe in socialism and communism. Islam 
is a very balanced way of life. We don't believe in hyper-capitalism as well. We believe in the middle ground. Equity and fairness and social justice, but also making profit as well and distributing the wealth equally with zakat and sadaqah. So we believe in excellence in that sense. So you competence and cap capability and then become a man, perhaps in this life or in the next life, a man of success. And we know what the ultimate success is. Allah says, they will be tuflihun, they will be the ones who are good. Falah, falah means success. And we hear from in, in Adhan, the first Adhan was done by Bilal radiallahu anhu. Hayya ala al-falah, hayya ala sulah, hayya ala al-falah. Come to prayer, come to success. So the real success is this. Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, فَمَا خَلَقْتُ الْجِنَّ وَالْإِنسَ إِلَّا لِيَعْبُدُونَ I did not create man except to worship me. And worshipping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala could be. Um, or of course, Salah is, 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 is an epitome of worship as is Dua. But worshipping is also excellence. If you're good at what you do, even spending time with your wife, this is a form of worship. Ibadah. And I was speaking today actually about this. Spending time with your wife is actually a form of worship. If done you know, correctly with the correct niya. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَمَا خَلَقْتُ الْجِنَّ وَالْإِنسَ إِلَّا لِيَعْبُدُونَ I did not create man and jinn except to worship me. So this is the success, worshipping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This is the falah. So we aim for competency, then success. Fame. We don't aim for that. We don't aim for virality. We aim for the first two. Success and competency. That's it. So when people say to me, I want to be, become famous. In fact, someone messaged me um, a, few, a, few, a few years ago actually. When I first came on the Dragon's Den, they said, I want to be famous like you. I said, don't chase fame. Become a person of value. Then you may get successful. And then you may get famous. And in fact, fame sometimes is actually detrimental. And it's, you know, clout can be damaging for your, for your soul. Your ego can get inflated. So you don't chase that. It's, not, it's a very fickle thing. And there's a quote from Marcus Aurelius that says, who, who wants to be, you know, in, in a world like this, which is, which is very treacherous, why be famous? Rather be famous in the next life, where people see you and say, this is a man of substance. He, on dunya, he did this, he did that. And be famous amongst the, the company of the righteous, amongst the angels who mention your name. That's, that's the fame we should aim for. Not this fickle fame of being famous in this dunya. We don't aim for that. We don't want that. So, closing messages... Do not chase fame. Do not even chase fortune. If it comes, it comes. Work your damn hardest to become good at what you do. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will reward you. Reward you either, either in this life or in the next life. But there will be a reward. Bismillah. Closing statements. If you want to learn more, alhamdulillah, we've got a thriving school channel. Over 250 members. If you think you'll find benefit... Do join the link in my bio, inshallah. Also, the link at the bottom of the video. It's called the Model Muslim. I teach you guys about everything I know that I've learned through medicine, psychology, mindset, how to make money online, how to speak with impact, how to look better, how to dress better, how to be more confident, married as well, how to, where to get married, approaching sisters in the right, correct, Islamic, proper way, with Wali permission. How to get married as well. So that's the thing we talk about in our uh, school channel. Of course, you can't be a school channel without talking about um, building body and muscle. A very important part. So we talk about that as well. How to be a strong man. Because we know the strong believer is better than the weak believer. So that's it guys. Inshallah, until next time, do join the channel. And I'll see you, hopefully, inside the community where we have much more interactive sessions. I'm there every day, I check in, I share stuff there daily on the school channel, articles, videos, exclusive content, behind the scenes podcast clips as well, as well as um, uh, live updates, coaching calls as well, we have, group, we have guest speakers, and whoever joins gets this, OG, Dr. Asif Gummies as well, for the first month, inshallah. So, barakallah I'll see you inside the channel. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.